Hey guys, Adam Hart here. Splash is a 2D samurai fighting game where you can beat your opponents and they can beat you in just one hit. And there's a single player and a multiplayer. We're going to start with the single player. Here we go. As part of the creation of Splash, we drew inspiration from Japanese history and mythology. I love Japanese history. This was an artistic choice on our part, which involves some reinterpretations to enrich the game's own mythology. We hope you will enjoy discovering Splash and that it will further ignite your interest in the fascinating world of Japanese culture. Oh, it will. Anything samurai related, I just love. I like that little loading screen. All right, here we go, boys. The beginning of your journey. This story takes place a long time ago, in another world, where talented warriors, trained in martial arts by the gods they worship, protected the people from criminals and demons. These warriors were called samurai. This art style is so gorgeous. This tale finds its roots in the village of Aki, where, according to legend, samurai were blessed by the raven god Tengu. It is said that the samurai were able to defeat their opponents with a single blow. Their leader, Susano, was an unrivaled fighter. Master of the arts of winds and storms. She was so fierce and brutal on the battlefield that she could be mistaken for a man, a beast, or even a monster. And a that's not the one we picked. Between the two commanders of the Aki and Natsu clans escalated into a violent war that plagued their villagers for many years and showed no signs of stopping anytime soon. At the heart of this unending chaos starts the tale of the samurai, Jinmu, an orphan raised by Susano. One day, in the village of the Raven, our hero was finishing his training. Then he got attacked, and he had to learn on the fly. Okay, the guy we picked, that wasn't actually in the story. That was in that little versus mode I did before this. As he'd done since a young age, Jinmu warmed up in the dojo, following the training required by the village chief. Okay, he good, is teaching us. He was the most this. promising disciple. Yeah. He put in quite the effort, yeah. firmly hoping to one day play his part in the protection of his people. He knew this for sure. The Natsu clan leader, Amaterasu, was no man to call the truth. The time in a short, parry at the right moment to destroy the dummies. That parry window is actually pretty big, I think. So we'll be fine, I think. Well, I think. You lose stamina if any of your actions, charge and attacking, are interrupted by a kick. This is called a stamina break. Ooh. Oh, I tried to parry. Did I hit the attack? To interrupt and push an opponent is triangle. Oh, okay. That gets for their stamina too. Dash, dodge, and attack at the last moment to destroy the dummies. Okay, L2 and R2. Dash. Can I dash through them? Oh, nice. Nice. We're getting the hang of this. Let's hit the next guy here. Boards don't hit back. Bruce Lee. Okay, and that doesn't use any stamina doing this. You can just spam that. All right. Oh, no, no. Never, never press circle in a fight. Jinmu knew the origin of the Natsu clan like the back of his hand. Like everyone else, he was aware that Susano's eternal rival had betrayed her twice, turning against his own allies and mercilessly slaughtering his comrades to satisfy his selfish desires. It was because of Amaterasu that Jinmo had lost both his father and his mother, whom he had never known. And so Susano had to raise him in their stead. Look at that background, it's so pretty. Birdman? This guy's not stopping. Yeah. I think we kill him. <laughs> I think that's a bad guy. Okay. The Aki clan. 
Let's let's parry him. Nope. That was too far. No! We're dead. Rip. Oh, that's cool. Pedals. We're learning. It's okay, boys. What if I dash and then I kick them? Yeah, good one, Adam. Bro. Oh my gosh. That was, that was a little filthy, but we got the job done. Ah! Okay, that is not a strat at all. That's good. To dash forward and then try to hit them with a slap. If anything, I should parry. Oh, it was, oh, it was too slow. Oh, guys, we'll get better at this. I, I promise. <laughs> I got to parry like right when I get up to him. There we go. See, that's what I wanted to do. I, I just wanted to dash and parry. Oh, man, this feels good, bro. I'm telling you, this feels good. Wait, how do how am I doing? Oh, so the right analog stick is same thing. Okay, we got it down there, dashing and then hitting them. Yet, it was not out of vengeance that Jinmu wished to fight, but to protect his own. It was from this unwavering determination that he drew his strength. Can you like hit while you have it sheathed? Okay, now you gotta Jinmu's have time to bring it up. Was coming to an end. Finally catching up, eh, little Raven? Maybe I can stop holding back now. Boast all you want. You weren't that talented at my age. Oh, here we go. Oh my gosh. She missed me. By hair. Oh, she got me first. No. She beat me. Oh my gosh, I'm getting lucky here. She didn't hit me. How many bars do I have, I wonder? Okay, okay. I got a lot. Got you. That is actually such a good bait to, like, dash toward them and then just parry right away. I won. Because they're probably getting nervous and like, oh, I gotta hit him first before he hits me. Like, I'm excited to do that multiplayer. His confidence was not misplaced. None of his seniors or superiors could defeat him. I'm beating everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, Sklash. I always want to say Slash, but it's Sklash. Am I even saying that right? I think I am. It's a unique name though, isn't it? But even though Jinmu outstripped all his peers, he still hadn't managed to surpass his master. And I appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully you enjoy my Sklash walkthrough. I'm going to be making walkthroughs for this whole game. I'm not sure how long it's going to be. It's only 10 bucks on Steam as well. So it's a great price. And if you love Samurai, you're gonna love this game, or Japanese culture. I love the art style, it's so beautiful. We got all the Jinmu, people watching. At last, you've arrived. Are you ready to complete your training? Yes. I've been ready for a long time. I won't disappoint you, Grandmother. She's gonna be harder. I expected nothing less from you. On God. God. All right, let's let her come to me. Opponents will block your attacks. Use your tools. Bait attacks. Dash to their back. Like that. Or break their stamina of the punch to create an opening. Oh, that was good timing on our part. <laughs> we got her back to the corner. Oh, she blocked me. What? She got me? I don't know how she recovered that fast. You should not have a gun. Oh, okay. I'm underestimating this grandmother here. Okay, here we go. Oh. oh my gosh, I have no stamina left. Wait, wait, I need to let it come back. 
Got her. Is she gonna recover? Yeah. Oh, no, no, we got her. Nice. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh, but she had me, bro. Uh. Parried her. Hit her, hit her before yeah. she recovers. Nice. First try. <laughs> I, won. I did it. What spirit you have. Sometimes you remind me of your father. But you wouldn't have been able to touch me if I had called upon the Tengu god. Nah, call him. Call him right now. Let's rematch them. I'm sure I can. Exactly, yeah. Let's have a rematch. <laughs> and don't hold back this time. Exactly, my friend. That's what I'm talking about. Give me a rematch. It reminds me of... No, it doesn't matter. Only the power of a god can surpass the power of another god. Still, you fought well. Does that mean I can join the battle? Very well. You will join the fight against the Natsu clan, but you will stay in the back ranks and listen to your superior's orders. Don't be a hero. Oh, man. I know Come your on. heart is good, but have no mercy for these traitors. Advance with us to victory and avenge our people. I will protect you with the storm of our god, Tengu. Tengu. We might have another ability now. Kind of sounds like it. We have the protection of the Tengu god. Your training is complete, and I can now give you your weapon. The katana is a samurai's best ally. Take care of it, and carry it with you wherever you go. Oh, I got you. Weeks passed, and unfortunately war broke out once again. It was time to head out to battle. You mean, fortunately, we get to fight again. Because it the feels Ashi good in here. advanced through the valley to respond to the Natsu attack. And Jinmu hastened to join Akiku and his fellow samurai. But he lost track of his friend. And naively plunged into enemy lines to find her. <laughs> oh, there's two of them. Okay, I was getting ready for him to attack me. Now nah, I'm not going to underestimate them. I bet this guy hits me right now. Okay, I just burned two of them though. Burned two meters there. These guys are kind of stupid. <laughs> Works for me, mate. These guys in this next stage here will definitely attack me. I guarantee it. Jinmu soon faced a formidable opponent. There we go. It was time to put all his learning into practice. For justice. The traitors of Aki will pay! No, they won't. Come here, find me, boy. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Hmm, they can recover from my parries, can't they? I thought they were stunned for a little bit, and maybe they are, and it's just very fast. Yeah. Oh, he parried me. It's the first time I got parried, I think. Yeah. Gotcha, boy. Is he gonna be. Yeah. Oh, fudge, he was too far. Yes, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Yes. Watch this, boys. And then I'm gonna dash one more time. Woo! Oh, fudge, okay. No! I parried too soon. Actually, let's go in and then back up. I'm gonna back up like this. <laughs> We're doing the same thing. Oh. Fudge. Got you. Oh, that was a good fight. It's all about, like, the right distance from them, isn't it? Yeah, that's really, like, the trick, I think. We're learning here. Good escape. Adam, what are you doing, my friend? Nice. That battle actually taught us a lot right there. About distance. Malicious girls. Okay, I guess what? they're not. Fire? Th Despite Tengu's Ooh. protection, a fire seemed to have broken out. Who could unleash such flames under a divine storm? Yeah, I see what they're doing. They're not customizing the Steam achievement. They're like making their own one inside the game in unison with the Steam one. I think that's really creative. Where does foil come from, Mike? There's gonna be a big bad guy in the middle. He caused it all. And he killed all these people. We're gonna avenge them. 
There they are. Well, well, well. A raven who's still standing. You should have fled while you had the chance. I like the moon in the middle. But since you're here, be my warm-up. And then I'll cross swords with the furious harpy who serves as your leader. Amaterasu, the leader of the Natsu clan himself. I must not hesitate. I must eliminate him. It's the only thing standing between us and peace. I like these names they have. Jinmu, Amaterasu, Amaterasu. Oh, I already forgot how to say it. Amaterasu. Okay, I think we I think we got it. <laughs> Jinmu had to face the samurai of the sun, blessed by the goddess Kitsune, a formidable and experienced opponent, against whom he probably stood no chance. You're a little more skilled than the others, but you're starting to tire. Here we go. Don't be disappointed. It's no, we stopped his line. The blow on me in ages. Wanted to listen to that. It's just luck. Oh, that was a good dodge backwards. Over the years have made me let my down. It won't happen again. What? He's so good. He blocked us so many times. Fudge. Got him. No, we don't. <laughs> Mada Fudge. Yes, let's go. He was good. I can keep standing up to you. If you give up, we can still spare lives. He's not gonna give up, is he? <laughs> give up? What's your name, young raven? <laughs> give up? How naive. Jinmu. How naive of this fool to think the god of war would give up. Jinmu. The fire of war will only be extinguished when Susano frees my daughter. She knows it all too well. A Natsu woman in the Aki clan? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? You're fighting her war without even knowing this? <laughs> How naive. I knew he thought that. That I'm a naive warrior. I think he might have said that earlier as well. How naive. You must think your intentions are noble. But your savage beast of a leader has more blood on her hands than you realize. Beast of a leader. That does make me question my leader. She doesn't care about you. She knows that I will eliminate every last one of her followers if she doesn't return my child. And yet she does nothing. I can hear the anger in his voice. Let's go. You're spouting nonsense. Stop trying to deceive me. Why would she do that? Because she only listens to her rage. You'll see for yourself. Wait. Oh, he got away. He threw down a smoke bomb, a fiery bomb. Like they do Still in Ghost of Shima. Jinmu looked around him. The battle was hmm. over. Despite significant losses, Aki had come out on top. Yet despite this victory, thoughts collided in Jinmu's head. What was he talking about? His daughter? Could it be that grandmother has been hiding things from me? All these corpses. As Miniaki as Natsu, is Amaterasu really the only one responsible? His daughter. Could she be the real reason driving him to attack us? Is he fighting out of... It sounds Jinmu, like he is, yeah. You're back. Not even a scratch. I expected nothing less from you. That's why I was stopping sometimes. I didn't want to skip the lines. I think we might have skipped one line at the very end there. We managed to push back the Natsu. Come, join us. We all deserve to catch our breath. The Natsu will eventually come back, and this endless cycle of violence will resume as if today had never happened. Why not seek to stop this conflict and enjoy lasting peace? Jinmu, you know very well that it's not possible. Amaterasu doesn't listen to anyone but himself. He only wishes to destroy. I exhausted my kindness and patience a long time ago. 
The only option left is to defeat them all until the last one. I think I have a solution. I met Amaterasu and... Ah, here lies the cause of your sudden impudence. He tried to manipulate you, did he not? Yeah, I'm not so sure about her now. You must not listen to him. Amaterasu is a liar. His words are as deceitful as the goddess he worships. Hmm. Oh no. That's not it. There is a way out. And Amaterasu has only one demand to stop this war. Enough. You must do as I say. I don't have to answer to you. <laughs> we are at war, and here I am your leader. We must exterminate the enemy. Grandmother, is it true that we're holding his daughter captive? Ah. Of course, he still won't listen to reason. You cannot understand. It's too soon. I'll overlook your impertinence this time, and we'll talk about it at the village. We have to set her free now. We have to stop. It's impossible! You're... Ah. I should have known. It was a mistake <laughs> to bring you to the battlefield. Oh, wait. Your mistake, mate. What? You are a mistake. I shouldn't have brought you, mate. Impossible? I think the mistake comes from your blind stubbornness. If you refuse to explain, I will have to take matters into my own hands. You won't, mate. No, you won't. You, you mistake, mate. What are you on about? Come off it, mate. Jinmu, please stop. Listen to your leader. Yeah, listen to me, mate. What are you on about? You know the punishment for mutiny. Death. Don't make me fight you. Don't make me fight you, mate. Alright. I hope we get to fight or not. You leave me no choice. <laughs> you are the one who taught me to fight for my people. Yes, let's go. You don't understand. Oh my gosh. Give up and I can forgive this offense. Her health. This uh, what the fudge? Use your mind. Come yeah. back to your senses. Oh god, we're dying here. Oh, what was that? She almost got us. I can't move. It's like a power attack. Does that mean it's over? I can't oppose the gods, even if it's for peace. Yeah. We got her. Nice. Jinmu, you have disobeyed your leader and your god. No, oh, we only got her because they were in the middle of a dialogue thing. Go. Go. She's kicking me out of the village. I condemn you to exile. Whoa. Take your weapon. March to the mountains of the north. And never come back. How dare you? Okay, that sounds really good, actually. Nice and scenic. That's kind of sad, though. Right. And so Suzanu banished Jinmu from the village and exiled him to the mountains. Jinmu felt completely lost. The history of his clan, hmm. the atrocities committed by Amaterasu, Susanu's just cause. Where was the truth in all this? And where were the lies? Who was his daughter? What was the real reason for this conflict? I want to make sure I don't skip any lines. He remembered very well the story his grandmother had told him. In ancient times, Amaterasu had received the blessing of the mischievous goddess Katsune in exchange for his blind devotion and unwavering submission. He then began to massacre all those who did not join her cult. That was the origin of this endless conflict. At <laughs> least that's what Jinmu had been convinced of until yesterday. Now he wasn't sure of anything anymore. Did death, lifeless bodies, pain and cruelty really have a meaning? Deep in Jinmu's soul, a conviction was beginning to emerge. This war was futile, and it could be stopped. And while he was lost in his thoughts, Jinmu continued to advance toward the mountains. The grass became snow as the fresh air of the valley gradually gave way to the icy cold of the peaks. Without realizing it, Jinmu had arrived to the mountains. Legend had it that it was beyond these summits that the abode of the gods was located, and that before inhabiting the valleys, the first samurai had trodden this same snow. But today, 
It would have been surprising for anyone to inhabit such an inhospitable climate. Could this be a snowstorm? I can't Grandmother told me go about any it. further. She... Uh oh. Where am I? I must have passed. Okay. I was like, I think I made two lines collide there. I was like, is she okay? Young Raven, the wind that blows in this place is too fierce for your wings. Retrace your steps. Who are you? A god? A ghost? Please, help me. No, we can't die out here. Our journey can't end here. What do we see? Oh, we see someone. They're trying to kill us. What the fudge? Hey, yo! Calm down, boys. Gotcha. Let's go. That music is beautiful. I was admiring the beat. Uh, I was admiring the music on our way here. Easy, easy. They're like raiders out here. Beating up any travelers that come their way. I actually love that move, like dashing and then parrying. It didn't work on the first guy though, we fought. Maybe maybe our timing has improved. Oh yeah, you can kick them in the face. I'm gonna try it right now. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna try it right now and see what happens, my friend. Dies. God dang it. You gotta be so close, don't you, to be able to pull that off. I just realized that I haven't done it a single time in this playthrough. There we go, I got him. Oh, he blocked me. Actually, I think we hit it at the same time. Oh, he spawned in front of me. Jump scare. Let's go. He was off screen. Oh, two at once. First double kill. Dang, there's like tons of them out here just waiting for me. We'll seek How refuge can anyone here. survive in these forbidden mountains? No matter. It's my last hope. That was a cool transition. This guy's like the sensei, probably. Excuse me? I hope those guys weren't your guys out there, the 20 guys I killed. <laughs> those weren't your guys out there, were they? Weren't your guards? No one would have the strength to survive the storm of Orochi without my protection. Young samurai, who are you, and what are you doing here? Oh, his voice is so cool. Young samurai, who are you, and what are you doing here? My name is Jinmu. I wander aimlessly. I was banished from my village. And I killed 20 people outside. I hope you do not know them. A ronin? Yes. Because I disobeyed my chief's orders. Grandmother Susano preferred to send me away rather than tell me the truth. Facts. Susano. So you are the grandson of Susano. In any case, you must leave. What? A boy of your kind would not last long in these mountains. You don't look very young. I doubt you're more resilient than I. Fight us to prove it. Insolent. I am Isonagi, the first samurai, and this is the temple dedicated to the god Orochi. Orochi. I still have some resources left in me, and I will <laughs> show you. I love how the game's like straight to the point. It's like, you fight the grandmother right away, or you fight him right away. There's no like, second or third act. You just get the action right away. What? I can't go back. Oh my gosh. Yep, every time I do that, I Let it doesn't that end well for me. <laughs> With the exchange of blows, Jinmu's pendant came out of his clothes, which did not escape the old master's notice. Hmm. 
I was wondering why we didn't die there. That was actually inevitably going to happen. Your necklace. What are you doing with the enchanted pearl of Amaterasu around your neck? Amaterasu. Okay, we did say it right earlier. What? But it's my mother's necklace. After 20 tries. What else has Susano been hiding from me? Huh. That's a beautiful irony of fate. Who would have thought such a miracle could happen one day? This changes a lot of things. Your story is, in a way, my story as well. Sit down, Jinmu. I have many things hmm. to tell you. I like this guy. Story time. Long before you were born, I was the first human to meet the gods who came from their garden across the Bridge of Destiny. They taught me the art of the blade to protect mankind. And in turn, I passed on this knowledge to my peers so that they could continue this sacred mission. We took the name of Samurai. Under our watch, peace reigned and the world was in harmony. You know them as mortal enemies, but at the time, Amaterasu and Suzano were my two best disciples. There was a healthy rivalry between them, and they were close as only a brother and a sister can be. Time passed, and each started their own family. Susano adopted an abandoned child and raised him as her son. That was your father, Oku. As for Amaterasu, I agreed to give him the hand of my heiress, with whom he then had a single daughter, Kushina. Life could have kept flowing quietly like this, but one day, my daughter fell gravely ill. Amaterasu prayed to the gods to save his wife, but in vain. He then turned to me, begging me to let him enter the garden of the gods to heal her with the divine water. But my loyalty to the gods came first, even before my daughter, and I refused his request. Amaterasu never forgave me, and thus his pain turned into hatred. This was when Kitsune, the fox goddess, chose to pour her venom into the ear of this suffering man. She promised him the survival of his beloved and the power to protect her. In return, Amaterasu had to commit to devoting himself exclusively to Kitsune and renouncing the other gods. Blinded by his pain and by the rage of feeling abandoned, my former disciple agreed to this pact. True to his word, he established the exclusive cult of Kitsune and, ready to do anything to save his wife, he ruthlessly killed those who refused to follow his madness and he even ended up seriously injuring me. <sighs> Susano might have been able to reason with Amaterasu, but without warning anyone, she had already gone to fetch the sacred water for him. When she returned, she found the village in flames and bloodshed. Devastated by this bout of madness from the man she had always considered her brother, she swore not to let these crimes go unpunished. And in her quest for justice... Kushina. That's my mother's name. So that means... Amaterasu's daughter is my mother. Wow. There's actually a good story in here. I like it. I'm a, I'm a little upset the game actually interrupted its own line. Like, I was listening to that, and then it, it cut off the rest of the line. So I wish I would have read it, but I guess when I edit this video, I can read it. Jinmu, you are a descendant of the Aki and Natsu clans. Hopefully this guy can still fight well. He said he got injured by that guy. But then... Amaterasu is my grandfather? And you're my... Uh, distant ancestor? Great-grandfather. It is this family connection that has brought you here safely. Your magic necklace is a token of affection given by Amaterasu to his daughter, through which he passed on his protection to you in turn, a love that protected you from Orochi's blizzard. Hmm. <laughs> So Amaterasu doesn't know that my mother is dead and thinks she's kidnapped? Yes. 
Susano kept everything from him to protect your parents, and you, the product of their forbidden love. Even after all this time, she continues to hide the truth from him. Maybe Tengu deliberately obfuscated her mind to perpetuate her feud with his rival. Hatred. Wars. It's all the god's fault. Now that I know everything, I must be able to dissipate their confusion. I have the blood of both sides in me. I might be able to appease them. Yes, I have peace in me. I don't kill anyone. Arrogant. <laughs> she cannot stop the course of history alone, and certainly not against the will of the gods. But you... you were their master. What if... Do not count on my help. I can no longer leave these mountains. If you plan to go back, I will not stop you. Ah. So I have to challenge the gods in order to stop this absurd war. But a human triumphing over the gods is unthinkable. Despite knowing the truth, I still feel like I'm at a dead end. It is my duty to watch over my descendants. You can stay with me if you want. I will not intervene between my two disciples, but I can at least offer you a place here. Thank you, Izanagi. Izanagi. Oh, my training. First day of training at the temple. I'm gonna smack you in the face. No, I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm never at the right distance. We stink. I'm kicked from the temple now. Okay, attempt number two of trying to facepalm him. Okay, here. here. <laughs> there we go, we hit him. It works when we have them against the wall. He dodged that? That's actually really impressive. Nice block. Oh, there we go. Ah, you've beaten me again. You're probably the strongest samurai I ever faced. <laughs> Aside from Izanagi. Yeah, let's uh, pretend the first round didn't happen. It's still not enough. I don't stand any chance against Susano and the god protecting her. Only a fool would provoke Susano. She asked for the power of a god and received it without even needing to make a pact. Without a pact? How could she possibly seek the help of a god without consequences? Those were different times. We once had a better relationship with the deities. There was a balance. If a god liked you, they would sometimes offer their help without asking for anything in return. And we didn't need to guard this bridge like we do today. So it is possible hmm. for gods to offer help without a pact. It's kind of an interesting world that they're setting up here. Yes. But that was before Kitsune and then Tengu broke this peace. Everything changed, unfortunately. And we can never hope to stop those two again. The other gods were furious when the situation got out of hand. Fortunately, the snow of Orochi calmed their wrath. I also like this guy's uh, voice. This guy is a... I like him as a voice actor already. Maybe I have an idea. A way to defeat them. It's worth a try. I feel like that samurai we just talked to sounds really experienced. But at the same time, he just looks like any other ordinary samurai in this place. The story Izanagi told Jinmu had convinced him that he should stop the war himself. The two rivals, blinded by their hatred, would listen to none but their idols. But Jinmu would force them to return to reason. And if he had to fight them for it, then so it would be. Fortunately, he felt like the words of the samurai had opened a way for him. With a fresh impetus, Jinmu quickened his pace. 
If he could convince a higher being to help him, that power might be enough to end this madness. He just needed a push to rise to their level. The blessing of a god who would work for peace. Divine help once again. That would be awesome. For the very last time. Let's get a superpower from a god here. I should have known. You want an audience with the divine to receive their power. <laughs> oh no. Now we gotta fight this guy probably. You cannot get the power of the gods. I must fight you now. I cannot let you cross this bridge. The gods must not interfere in mortal affairs any further. Come on, man. Haven't you learned any lessons from the mistakes of your elders and their terrible pacts? No. No, I haven't, my friend. Now let me pass. Just one last time. Just once. To put out the fire of war they have ignited. To repair all the misfortunes they have caused. I cannot let you... Only a god can help me fight on equal grounds against Tengu and Kitsune. I see where she's coming from. But at the same time, I see his position. But he should just let us pass. Oh, come on, man. Come on. Bringing a supreme being into the situation will only make things worse. It is a noble goal. But you do not realize what you are doing. We should ask him more about the consequences of getting the god involved. I am the guardian of the garden of the gods, and this heavy responsibility falls upon me. I failed to stop your grandparents, and because of that failure, they are still struggling in an endless war. But I will not let you pass. You shall not pass. Run, you fools. I love how every time we see him, he has his sword in the ground and he's on his knees. Alright, we gotta find him now. Good fight, good fight. Ooh, nice. That was my time to strike. That was actually so good how I got behind him. Oof, I went to dash behind him. Oh. I don't know how I didn't get hit there. Oh my gosh. He changed the weather. <laughs> what a bunch of... Oh, we are so lucky with our distance. Got him. Let's go, baby. You do not understand. Anger of the gods was going to destroy our world. I had no choice but to accept Orochi's help, and you know nothing of the pact that binds us. But your idol is weak. If I can cross swords with my grandparents, then I can defeat you. Got him. One more, baby. Locked. Fudge. Fudge. Come on. Come on. No, ah, I dashed into it. My guts. Ah. I like how he changed the weather there. That was nice. Not my guts spilling out though. That wasn't so nice. Got him in a corner here. Yeah, he's mine. He's mine. We got him in a corner. It's only a matter of time, mate. Got him. One more. Yeah, he's ours now. We got him. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's crazy. We both missed. Now I'm in the corner. Nice. There we go. Good fight. Hi. Ah. I know. I cannot believe this. You're gonna have to let me pass now. Get the power of the goods. All I can do now is pray that things do not get worse. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Sorry about that. I promise to settle everything. 
I recognize here the arrogance of your grandfather. But very well, I can admit defeat. Cross the bridge before I change my mind. Okay. Hopefully that's not the last we see of him. That was cool. The weather changed in that fight too. Jinmu had triumphed over the first samurai and prepared to enter the realm of the gods. His confidence and determination renewed. Yeah, that's gotta go to his head a little bit. Here I am, finally in this legendary garden. Being a samurai. Magnificent. No painting could do it justice. But it is strangely empty. Look how pretty that is. Oh my gosh. No. I feel like I'm being watched. Yes, I feel like someone's watching us. Is that a snake head or a wolf head? No, it's a dragon. Definitely not a wolf or a snake. <laughs> the dragon good. Who dares enter our lands? It's been a while since a mortal disturbed us. Hey, we do more than just disturb. I think. My name is Jinmu. I'm the disciple and grandchild of Susano. Nice to meet you. Your, um, godliness? <laughs> Don't try to flatter me, you foolish youngster. Tell me why I shouldn't just devour you right now. I have explosive diarrhea, and you would digest that if you eat me. I came to offer a deal. Am I to understand that you want to make a pact with a god? Yes, my friend. Yes. No way. I don't want to do that. I just need your help to bring peace among the mortals. <laughs> you have nothing to offer. Why should I accept? I will cut up right now in these gardens, my friend. Our wars are the result of your carelessness and the prideful desires of some other gods who used humans. It's your responsibility to fix this. How dare you give me orders and question our ruling? Hmm, we're gonna have to fight this guy now. We ticked him off. What arrogance! Why should the war between Kitsune and Tengu be my problem? I don't know. Your greatness is only expressed in the devotion of those who submit to you. If the wars between them continue, humans will forget about the other gods. She makes a good point. Grant me your power, and I'll restore lasting peace, and all the gods will be honored equally. That's a very ambitious bet. You think you can stop all these wars alone? Heck yeah. If someone can do it, it's me, by virtue of my blood. With your help, I will succeed, and the providential god who will have helped me will be covered with praise by grateful humans. Oh, he's gonna like that. Interesting points. All right then, let's restore the peace between the clans. That's it? Oh my gosh. You're convinced? You don't want to kill me anymore? No, I still want to eat you. I haven't eaten in a thousand years. Yeah, we just we just convinced him. That's awesome. <laughs> I haven't eaten humans in ages. It's bad for digestion. And I like your energy, little creature. I just wanted to scare you, to test you, and you dared to challenge me. We've impressed him. So it was true. All I had to do was ask nicely. You weren't even polite. Anyway, if you want to leave with my power, you'll have to prove yourself worthy. Ah, oh, so we do get to find him. Show me you can handle yes. it. Yes. And entertain me. If you're not up to the task, I'll send you down the waterfall. No, my friend. Nobody can beat me with this power. There's no way I'll lose. Well, at least you have to be able to receive my strength. Channel the incessant flow of Ryujin, the Dragon God, through your sword. My power brings life and soothes wounds. Use it well and prepare to exceed yourself. Awesome. 
This guy's voice is awesome. Heck yeah. Hold the button to charge your attack before releasing it in a chosen direction. The longer you charge for, the further you'll reach up to a maximum range. Oh, that's it. Wait. That's it. There, now I now I have it. Okay. As soon as you hear that ching sound. The fudge? A reflection just changed. Do we hit him on the snout? <laughs> I don't think so. Hey, it's me. It's myself. Or oh, swords hit. So cool. What? The punch? Did I get him? Oh, okay. Oh, that's so cool. I love that. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. That music is nice. Huh? Oh, that is a far slash. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's always when they have one HP, I swear. <laughs> Bro. Well, that gives us more time to practice this, though. How is it missing? One more. There we go. He walked into it. We got ourself. I think it was ourself. Have I impressed you? It's been a long time since I've had so much fun. You have proven yourself, little being. Oh, I see. He he was like, he was like in our clone. I'll go and stop these wars, as you wish to. Climb on my back. In my great kindness, I will drop you at the heart of the valley. My young recruit cannot make the journey on foot. And it will do me good to stretch my scales. Alright. Well, that is a good place to stop. That was cool, man. And anyone that loves Japanese culture and samurai is probably going to really enjoy this. I mean, Ghost of Tsushima is one of my favorite games of all time. I know some of you guys that follow the channel also love Ghost of Tsushima. I mean, who doesn't, you know? So, hey, you might, you guys might like this. It's only 10 bucks on Steam as well. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.